Hello there. In this video we're going to download Visual Studio with the C++ compiler. So this is the URL that you need to go to visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads. It should look like this although it may look quite different if Microsoft changes it again which they have done since the last time I recorded this video. If you're not a Windows user, you might be interested in Visual Studio Code. This works on Mac and Linux as well as Windows. This is just the editor part of Visual Studio. So you can get this to work with your compiler if you've got G++ or possibly CLang or maybe even MinGW on Windows from the last video. So you can just download this and use it with your compiler as a simple low overhead environment. Talking of overheads, Visual Studio is pretty big. It's a download of 1.6 gigabytes. It takes about half an hour on my broadband connection. So if your connection is not up to speed, this may not be the right solution for you, I'm afraid. The version we want to download is this one, Community, free for students, open source contributors and individuals. If you're doing commercial work, or working for business then you need one of these which are not free of charge and you have to pay for them. So let's start downloading this one. So first of all we need to download and save this file. You can save that anywhere on your system if you like. If you can't think of a suitable place you could use the desktop. So we'll save that. This page is very busy, so we'll go back to the previous one. Now we need to run this executable. So we get the usual Microsoft security warning. Do you trust Microsoft Corporation? Well, that's a big question, but we'll assume the answer is yes. So let's click on run. So this is just a preliminary bit of configuration. So click on continue here. You can read about this if you're interested. Fortunately I downloaded this earlier so it seems to have cached that. If you haven't already got it it may take about five minutes for this stage. Now it's about to go on to the next stage. So this is just the installer program for Visual C++. Now we're actually going to download Visual Studio. We have various options here. There's different things including Python and here some yes there it is, there's Python environments which may be of interest. But we're doing a C course, so let's download this one, desktop development with C. If there's anything else you want to download, you can check those as well. It won't cause any problems or it shouldn't as far as I know. So then we can click on install. It says that if you have a slow download connection, you can have the option to download everything first and then install, as opposed to this one, which downloads and installs at the same time. I'm not quite sure what the internet connection speed has to do with that, but I've got a supposedly fast connection, so let's go with this one. Install. While the Visual Studio is installing, we'd like to ask you some questions. Not now, thank you. If you like taking surveys, you can answer this. If you don't, don't bother. Now this is going to do a big download. I don't think there's much educational value in making you sit and watch the download bar go from the left to the right. So I'm going to skip over some of this and catch up at the end of the download. Right, we're getting towards the end of the download and installation now. I've noticed actually I only have 940 megabytes to download. I think I may have partially installed it before. I also made the mistake of pressing the pause button and then I couldn't find a way to unpause it. So that's why I ended up with a partial installation. So we've got this start after installation checked here. So presumably it's going to 
roar into life as soon as it completes this stage. So 293 packages out of 301. Just another 13 megabytes to go, so that's the download stage finished. Right, so here we go. Let's see what happens next. Right, it's actually started Visual Studio now, but it's hiding it in the background, so let's bring it to the foreground. Right, it's found some old code that I've got. So let's create a new project. Actually, let's continue without doing anything. OK, so we now have Visual Studio. We can play around with C++. I'll save that for the next video, in fact, because I think this is probably enough for one video. So I'll see you next time, and meanwhile, keep coding.